Live on Zach TV One. Who do we finally have the pleasure of having in front of this camera? Kay Valentine. Kay Valentine, what's going on? How you been? I've been good. I've been blessed. How are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I first want to start off by saying congratulations. The album has finally dropped, correct? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about the album. Let's okay. talk about it. Let's like, talk. how long have you worked on that project? I was working on here for a reason, probably for about a year and a half. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You, know, you got to make sure it's right. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, do you have any features on that album? I do. I do. I have um, Tweet. I have BJ the Chicago Kid, Talib Kweli, Styles P. Styles? Yep. Scotty ATL, um, Nye Ray, and Kendra Ross. Wow. That's... that's... So, like, seven features. Wow. They're all good. Okay, so you got Styles P, who's a, a hip-hop head for sure. You got Talib Kweli, which is... He's a legend, yes. and you went down to Atlanta for Scotty ATL. Yeah. Wow. How did you How did you pick the artists that you wanted to feature on your project? Well, I'm um, on tour with Talia Kweli and Styles P. Really? Yeah. And our last date it's called the Seven Tour. Our last date is uh, this Thursday in Connecticut. Wow. Um, so you know, that's how I have that relationship. And Scotty ATL, I met him. He was here for a show um, a couple years back, and we kind of just you know stayed in contact. And I'm a fan of his, he's a fan of mine, so it just happened. That's dope, that's dope. So it was, it, was, it, was, it was bound to happen. Yes. Okay, now, um, where are you from originally? I'm from the south side of Chicago. Chicago? Yes. Like the Chirac Chicago? Yes. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. So you grew up um, like in an urban area in, yeah. on the south side? Yeah. So you experienced poverty, heartaches, pain, and deaths? Yes. Wow. Wow. Could you tell the people out there like a dramatic experience that you have encountered in your lifetime growing up in Chicago? Uh, yeah, I would say maybe the most dramatic was the um, when my father was murdered. Wow. You know, he was murdered. I'm Chicago. sorry to hear that. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So what, what, what age were you when that um, occurred? I was, about, I was so little. I was probably six or seven. Six or seven years yeah. old? Jesus Christ. Do you use that as motivation when you write your music? It's always, you know, in the back of my head, what I always often wonder what he would be, how he would feel about what I'm currently doing. Because my father, um, he was born in Jamaica. He's from Jamaica. And um, he, around the time of his death, he was trying to get out of the street life. Okay. He was trying to um, just focus on music. He did music. He um, broke shuffle ranks over to the U.S. Really? Yeah. Wow. He was, um, you know, doing parties and making reggae beats, and you know, and it's funny because I've never, back when I was younger, I, I could have never fought, been able to foresee myself, you know, becoming a hip hop artist. So I think it was just, it was destined. You know, my father was musically inclined. So. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. So and I noticed you said that you are. A uh, hip hop artist. I am. So that actually answers my next question, because you know, coming from Chicago, Chicago is big on the drill sound right now. So mm -hmm. was that um, pretty hard to like distinguish yourself, like I'm hip hop and not drill? No, it wasn't hard, cause I I'm, I'm myself okay. always. You know what I mean? And so I don't I let everything kind of just form organically, and that's just never been my sound. And you know, and you and not to shade anybody, um, but you know, I just don't. I can't glorify the violence, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, um, what, what what's your goal? You know, I noticed you say you, you don't want to glorify the violence. What steps do you think is possible to turn Chirac back into Chicago, you know? I think it's going to take a lot of time. Okay. It's going to take a lot of effort from a lot of people. We have to unify, you know, and we have to start within ourselves first, you know what I mean? I think it has to start in the home, mm -hmm. you know? Our men, a lot of them are absent, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people without their fathers. Um, I think, you know, we have to do some, what is the word I'm looking for? Self-evaluation. Most definitely. First, you know what I mean? I think it needs to begin in the home and then outside of the home, I think we need to put pressure on the mayor, on things like that because there's no way our schools should be getting shut down like that. There's no way that the students should be, um, no, the teachers should be underpaid. Like, that's the most important job, you know, being a teacher. And 
the fact that they aren't appreciated or they feel underpaid. Like you, you will want, you should want your children's teachers to look forward to, to coming to school and teaching your children. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, those are the ones that you should make sure are, are content. Um, I think that there needs to be more programs. You know, they they stopped a lot of the extra curriculum um, activities for the children. So with idle time, you know. That's, that creates a lot of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When you have nothing to do, sometimes that's what, you know, inspires these young people to just start doing bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Wow. That's deep, and, 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 and that's actually the truth, you know? I, I feel the same way you feel. Um, now, on the opposite end, on the music end, you are an independent artist, correct? I am. I am. For this album, I partnered with Talib Kweli. He has an independent label, and it's called Javoti Media. And he kind of runs it, him and his manager, they run it out of his kitchen, you know. It's, it's fairly new, but we partnered to release my um, my debut album here for a reason. Wow. So how was that working with the legendary Talib Kweli? Man, it's a blessing. That's like family. I, um, I'm learning so much, and like, I told him recently that, like, I was, uh, I'm still a student of the game. I'm still growing, I'm still learning, but I think um, after being, working so closely with him, I am now a professional. You know, I, you know, I learn how, I just study him, I watch him, and, I mean, it's amazing. I feel like I'm under one of the best mentors in the game. Wow, that's, that's, that's dope, that's dope. So, what's some of the, the like, the pros and cons that Talib give you, you know? He gives me, um, he always giving me gems. <laughs> he gives me great advice. Uh, he taught me how important it is to establish relationships, mm -hmm. um, you know, and just, he's, he's encouraged me to read more, you know. I was, I was a reader, but he's an avid reader, and he also, um, he sells books at qualityclub.com. Really? As a bookstore, so it's like, you know, he's encouraged me in that way. He can be opinionated sometimes, you know. So I don't have any cons, but we have our little, you know, creative differences at times. But nothing, nothing too crazy. Do you guys ever argue over like what city is better, New York or Chicago? Chicago, New York? Uh, no, no. Well, I would say something we had a, a bit of a debate over was um, he loves live instrumentation, and I like live instrumentation, but sometimes I don't want to hear it in every song, you know. So we had to compromise, but. Yeah, we good. We we have a really open relationship. We can communicate, so it's no issues. Super dope, super dope. Um, I also want to talk about what inspired you to become a hip hop artist. You know, most 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 women, mm -hmm. you know, the nurse, hairstylist, mm -hmm. pediatrician, things of that nature. What made you decide to say I want to get into the hip hop world? I actually think it chose me. Mm. This was nothing that I would would have been able to foresee for myself. But what I can tell you is that um, it developed naturally. I always wrote poetry, you know, and I started writing poetry, and it was usually when I was experiencing some type of turmoil in my life, you know, just dealing with, you know, death, sadness, anger. I never really wrote poetry when I was feeling happy. Mm. It always came out of that. And so from that, it, um, it was therapeutic for me. It became my form of therapy. And I also had a huge love for music, specifically hip hop. So I think that just over time, it kind of just, you know, transformed into music. Wow. You know, me writing music. Um, are you, like, who are some people that inspired you? Like the Lord Hill, the Erica Badu, the Talib Police. Who did you grow up saying, like, wow, that's, I look up to that person? Lauren Hill, mm -hmm. I loved. I loved uh, Alanis Morissette. Oh my God, beautiful loved, voice. Yes, beautiful. I loved um, Dido, Eminem. Eminem? Yes, I love Eminem. Wow. Eminem okay. is super dope with the wordplay. Like, super dope. He's so talented. You don't like Eminem? No, no, no I'm not saying, I would have never thought that you would have said M, you know? But. Oh yeah, I love Eminem. Okay. Um, Tupac, I love Drake, Jay-Z, mm. Nas. Andre 3K, um, of course Talib, 
Most of in his Miss Fat Booty Days. <laughs> his Miss Fat Booty Days, she said. Mm -hmm. what, what about some of the Chicago influencers like Twista, Kanye? I was just about to say Twista. Okay, Twister. okay. I was just saying. I was about to say Twista. Of course, Kanye. Common. I rock with Lupe. Super um, dope. And Twista, like, I don't feel like he get the recognition that he, that man is cold. I was listening to Twista not too long ago on Apple Music. And you know how you could just go through the whole entire catalog? And sometimes we forget how great these people are because there's so much content out there. And you forget, but when you go back to, through their old stuff, you're like, man, raw. Kamikaze, yes. adrenaline rush. We can go on and on. He's what a legend. Yeah. yeah. Warm and brave. That's <laughs> Hold on, you just sound like some vocals came out of your, your, your throat. What's going on? Do I hear a little bit of a, a, a singer? Do I hear a singer going on over there? No. Uh, I, I sing a little bit. Get the album here for a reason. Song number two. What, um, speaking of the album, um, what's one of your favorite tracks on the album? That's like asking a mother with six children which one is her favorite. But I'll go ahead and answer. I like, um, when I'm out, you know what? The bonus track. This is like the 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 my special. It's like the preemie kid of, cause Soul Searcher featuring Styles P. It almost didn't make it, so that's it has like a little special, extra special, you know. Um, so I would say Soul Searching is one of my favorites featuring Styles P. I'm gonna definitely check that one out. Thank most you. definitely, Thank most you. definitely. So, what's next after the tour? After the album? Like a few months after the album is out? What's next for you? Acting. I was still music. I still, you know, basically, um, after this tour wraps, you know, we're gonna. <laughs> silly. I'm heading back to New York in the morning. I have some LA in a couple days. I'll be in New York for a couple days, and I head to LA to start shooting a couple videos, um, a couple more videos for, you know, songs from the album. Um, then I head to Atlanta. Then. I'm pretty much just gonna be moving around. We have some, I have some shows, but but the tour will be over. But these are just individual shows. Then you know, once May here, we have Sound Set in Minnesota, and we're working on a Here for a Reason tour. Wow! So you know, my tour. Nice. Yeah. You have to invite Zach TV. Of course. You have to. It's only right. Of course. Right. Yes. Wow. So um, I was just watching your Instagram and I saw you um with Sway. Yeah, yep, I just did Sway. So you did an interview with Sway in the morning? Yes. That's dope, that's yes. dope. So you did an interview with Sway. Um, who else were you working with um, on your own while you were in New York? I was, uh, I did Tony Touch, I did Static Selector, I did Sway, All Hip Hop. Um, I had three release parties in New York. Three? I had a li yep, a listening party with OK Player. Mm. Um, it was a lot. I'm kind of forgetting, but it was. Are you tired after all this partying? And yeah, you'd be tired, but hey, hey it's the grind. I'm, this is my what I asked for, so. So you too tired. eat, sleep, and live music. Yeah. Wow. This is what I want. This, it's hard work. It's work, but it's fun and it's so rewarding. And nothing matches the energy and the, what I feel when I'm on stage connecting with the audience. Hmm. So if a person was to come to one of your performances, what could they expect? They can expect to hear, you know, just see me get down, hear, you know, what I delivered on my album or on any music they've heard. I'm going to deliver it to them, but it's going to be more intimate, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I interact with the crowd. They'll get to talk to me, tell me what they think, and you know what I mean? I'm real personable, so. Wow. So, um, like, do you take pictures and things like that with your fans? Oh, yeah. Always so you show love to the fans? Oh, yeah, of course. Without them, you know, you can't really... Bro, you need the fans. It's a part. Wow, that's dope. What city shows you the most amount of love? Honestly, New York. Mm, I figured you was going to say that. I, New York. I figured. And I get love in Atlanta, too. Okay. I get love in New York and Atlanta, I would say. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. If Kay Valentine had the option or if you were approached with, you know, a role on um, just say like Love and Hip Hop, um, Housewives of Atlanta, or anything like that, would you? Be a part of something like that or no? Can you see yourself no. doing it? No, nothing like that. Okay. So, do you think it's degraded to African Americans or it's just? Not? Um, I, sometimes, but I don't. I, I don't want to say that only because I don't feel like every every um 
you know, every person on there, every actor or musician, whatever, I don't think they're all degrading themselves. Some of them carry themselves okay. But what I've noticed is a trend in that the people who are super musically talented, the their persona on the show outshadows them. Their, you know what I mean? And it was like, if I was to do that, as hard as I've worked to, to gain the respect and, you know, what I'm, for what I'm doing, my music, to have it, you know, be overshadowed by some bullshit, it wouldn't be worth it for me. Super dope, super, super dope, super dope. Uh, 2017 is here, four months into the year. The yes. summer is right around the corner. The tour is, 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 is almost over, you say. Mm -hmm. um, so your entire summer, you just expect to grind, 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 grind nonstop. Grind, 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 yep, nonstop. I just worked a year and a half on this album, so I'm finna market it for a year and a half. <laughs> you know, dope. work and get it out there. Before before the album, um, before you, what what year was it when you hooked up with Talib? Um, that's a good question. I would say probably two and a half, two years ago, two and a half years ago. Twenty fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So before that, what were you doing in? Chicago? 14, okay, 2014. Okay, okay. So before that, back home in Chicago, what were you doing? Just working at working a job? Or? I was, uh, I was working, but I was I was doing hitting every every open mic here. Like, really? All the open mics. I was at Red Kiva all the time before they just closed down. I was at all the open mics. Um, I was working on a mixtape called K Valentine's Day back then, mm -hmm. or maybe it was out already. It was out yeah. already. Um, K, you were telling me about. You know how you were grinding and um, K Valentine that that mixtape. Did you ever you put that mix, mixtape about? Correct. I did. Yep. Did it have that exactly. song that you were featured in the Chicago Sun Times that Sh um, Shirek remixed? Did it have that on there? The mixtape after that one did the Million Dollar Baby mixtape that I put out. It had um, it featured the Shirek song. How many mixtapes do you have? Uh, I did solo. Four. I've done, um, and then I've been featured on other mixtapes. Other mixtapes, yeah. Okay. Um, what artists have you uh, collaborated with from the city of Chicago? From the city, um, Mikey Dallas. Really? Yep. That's, uh, that's... We got a song called About Me. Mm. Um, Bubble Eye. Uh, who else? Mickey Hosted, hmm? Castro. Um, hold on. Spencer. Castro from Mobile? Yeah. And hold up, so you got Cash move from Castle, shout out to him. And you got Mickey Halsted. Yeah. Which is an incredible artist, you know yes. what I'm saying? From Rose and like I like yeah. wow, I'm a huge fan of Mickey Halsted. That's crazy. So, yeah, I had them on the same song actually. That's that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Wow. Wow. That's that's nice. You really don't discriminate. Oh no. Even though you're not a true artist, you still support the culture of Chicago. Yeah, and it's like just because that's not the particular thing that I choose to do, it does like it don't mean I don't bow my head to it and you know what I mean? That's just not my subject matter. But the it's funny because I kinda get people out of their elements too, because the song I had I featured a, a drill artist song. It wasn't a drill song, you know what I mean? So they kinda got a A feel know, of a different Yeah. Or, wow. You know. Wow. That's incredible. So you're a thinker when you work. Oh yeah. Now it's, it's safe to say the K stands for the first initial in your name, correct? It does. And Valentine, how did you come up with it? That was my father's name. Oh, wow. So that's my way of like... Saying homage to you. Yeah. Wow, that's super, 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 super dope, super dope. Um, would you like to shout out anyone that was with you from the beginning to the end of your journey? Well, not the end, but from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I just want to shout out the supporters, the people who've been listening, the people who, um, you know, was paying attention when I was only getting two likes on Instagram, on my Instagram pictures. <laughs> um, shout out to my family, Talib Wali, Javoni Media. Shout out to Zach TV because he out here putting in work, um, providing a platform for us Chicago artists. Um, yeah, and shout out to all the dreamers and believers. Keep going. Mm. The genius thing you can do is not give up, says Jay-Z. <laughs> wow, so never give up on your dream. Never give up. And I noticed you said something, shout out to your supporters that was there when you only had two likes instead of the 350 and 400, 700, 1,000. But how big is social media to you as an artist? Social media uh, is, it plays a big role in, you know, providing a way for me to communicate and share music with my, um, with the people who support me. I know that 
when I put a, a link in my bio on Instagram, I'm able to, you know how you can get analytic, analytics and stuff like that, and I know that most of my um, plays, the plays I get, you know, they come from, you know, people clicking the link in, in my bio on Instagram, how I get my SoundCloud play. So it's, 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 you know, imperative, you know, when you, especially when you're trying to build up, you know what I mean? I think it's imperative for this new generation, because this is what they, you know, if you notice, know wherever you go, somewhere, everybody's always like this. It's time for their phone. Exactly. You know, on their phone, so. And you're bring, shout out to you, you're bringing dark skinned women back. So, shout <laughs> out to went, you. They ain't never went nowhere. Um, <laughs> nah, nah, but you're bringing them back, that's what's up. And another thing I'm going to ask you, how did you come in cahoots with Zach TV? I want to say shout out to D Nash, you know, for setting yes. up, you know? Yeah, shout out D Nash. He be working, <laughs> he be connected to everybody. Like, he is hilarious. He, he's like a human phone or phone book. Yes. He just, you can just call him and get information. But, I happen to be, I don't even know exactly, I know it was Instagram where I discovered, you know, your page. I don't know if it was maybe somebody reposted something mm -hmm. or or maybe it was in the popular section and popped up. I don't know, but, you know, I clicked and I was just like, and I went through and I was just like, wow. You know, and I was able to watch some of the interviews and, you know, and then I found out a little bit about your story just from the post you put about, you know, how you were incarcerated but you came out and you doing things for yourself and I was inspired and you know it was just good to see I love seeing black men you know become successful and beat the odds and even if they did have trouble I love seeing them overcome you know and so it was a blessing to see that you know he's like Man, I want to interview with him when he said wow that's that's super dope wow I really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Congrats once again on your album. Thank you. I wish you much more success. Thank you. Um, just, just, just thank you for being here. Once you safe travels tomorrow, you find out to New York, correct? I am. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. And the name of this shop, because we're in a in, in a great shop. Salon um, Heaven. Salon Heaven. Salon Heaven. Yes. yes. So shout out to Salon Heaven for having us here today. Yes. Shout out to Salon Heaven. They got some good hair. I've been here before to buy hair. Not that I wear weave or anything. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. But well, you take care, Miss K Valentine, live on Zach TV One. Yes. Miss K. Yes. It almost slipped between my hands. How could the people follow you out there on social media? You guys can hit me up at It's K Valentine. That's I T S K Valentine. That's my Twitter, my Instagram, Snapchat, and my Facebook. And hit me up on my uh, website, kvalentine.com. Get my album, Here For A Reason, available everywhere. That's incredible. <laughs> Are you always on Snapchat? Not as much as I should be. Okay. But I am on Snapchat. Yeah. I am on Snapchat, but I don't, I, I'm usually more on the Insta Snap. Do you use that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. After that came out, I kind of abandoned Snapchat, but I'm going to go back on. That's what's up. Yeah. Thanks again.